Welcome to this next installment of Virtual Tastings here at Henry & Son with myself, Jill Mott. I wanted to speak today about my adoration for the Melon de Bourgogne grape. Melon of Burgundy is what that translates to. Just uh, My French is terrible, but grapes I can get by. Um, Melon de Bourgogne, they, it, it's called Melon de Bourgogne because they think it hails from the Burgundy region in kind of central eastern France. And we know it's been there since at least the 1500s in written records, if not earlier, like 13th century. So for hundreds of years, this grape has been in France. White grape. Um, if we fast forward through the centuries, Melon de Bourgogne makes its way all the way up to the Loire Valley, so northwestern slash central France. And it's especially the star in a region called Muscade. And if you see Muscade, you may think, like, that sometimes it chimes in, you think of Muscat. Definitely not. This is bone dry, bright, light, white wine, perfect for springtime. I wanted to talk about how complex Melon de Bourgogne can be because that is a misconception that Muscadet is kind of this cheap and cheerful wine. Julien Brod is an organic producer in the region who's been tilling his soil with uh, via horse to not compact the soil too much. He's been making native yeast fermented wines for quite some time, um, not filtering them. He is aging this guy here uh, underground in concrete vats. And what's so cool about this native fermented, native yeast fermented Melon de Bourgogne is when I say cheap and cheerful and light, that's a lot of Muscadet. It's a lot of fun Muscadet. But here, this is actually a Muscadet that can age. So what we're offering for $14.99, surprisingly, is a four-year-old Muscadet that you get this essence of almost like a champagne without bubbles. Like it, it smells like sour bread dough and and, and like wet yeast and it smells like dried apples and um, it's just it's a very beautiful complex yet still a, a light to medium bodied wine. What's also really nice about this is between Henry and Son the importer of this of balanced wine selections there to California and then uh, our distributor here Rue 38 who thankfully brings in Julien Brode's Muscadet is that we're donating five dollars of every bottle to uh, the Minnesota Central Kitchen, who they are a group of restaurateurs, restaurants, caterers, um, and, and the like, that they're addressing food insecurity and um, job losses as a result of, of COVID-19. And so $5 of every bottle purchased is going to that cause, the Minnesota Central Kitchen, which is a really, a really cool organization. And so not only are we able to drink an awesome wine, that isn't just cheap and cheerful. It's got complexity, it's got a little bit of richness, a little bit of depth, but still remains light on its feet, um, as well as supporting a cool cause. So thanks to Minnesota Central Kitchen for par uh, partnering with us on this wine and Julian Broad from a distance who's uh, making his wines available. I wanted to go a little further inland from the Muscadet area to talk about a producer, France Salmon. France makes Chenin Blancs, makes incredible rosés. Uh, we, we've featured some of his red wines on occasion. Uh, Franz Simon is awesome because he also makes a really rare Melon de Bourgogne in a region that you wouldn't really think of it. He's in Mont-Louis-sur-Loire, so the central Loire Valley. Very close to, if you've heard of Vouvray, which is a region that's very well known for Chenin Blanc. Um, in Mont-Louis, they're also known for Chenin. And here France is just making some awesome Melon de Bourgogne um, under everyone's noses because most people look at this label and there's some like really cool graphically designed fish on it. So uh, nobody knows what it is until you flip to the back and it says Melon de Bourgogne. He's been organic for since like 2002, 2003 and biodynamic. He's making this wine um, with a very light batonnage, which means you're just lightly stirring those dead yeast cells, the same dead yeast cells that give this that complexity, that yeastiness, that bread dough quality, a little bit of like croissant in the nose and butter. There's just a touch of that here. Um, and then he's bottling it unfined and unfiltered and very low sulfur regimen, just like Julien Brod. And what you're left with is kind of the antithesis, but in a similar vein. So, you know, they both are bright, they're both light to medium bodied, but here you get that complexity of, of the yeasts um, and, and dried fruits 
and here you get more of like a little bit more of a minerality and a little bit more uh, fresh fruit notes, fresh stone fruits like kiwi and honeycrisp apple. Whereas here you're getting like a dried kiwi and almost like a dried honeycrisp apple. So two different faces of Melon de Bourgogne. We have a handful more in the shop as well that you can definitely shop around and, and choose from. But these are two I wanted to focus on today because France Salmon is a very rare gem that we're very lucky to have. And then Julien Broad, not only is the wine an incredible price for complexity, it's also $5 of every bottle goes to a great cause. So here's to happy drinking in difficult times. Enjoy the Muscadet and enjoy springtime and early summer. Thanks for joining us. Trece dorum mărunțării